Mario is the most well-known Nintendo character, and the Mario series contains some of the most important and influential video games ever made. Mario is certainly popular, and Mario games are still a huge deal when they come out. But is Mario really still Nintendo's biggest and most important series? What does it mean for a series to be the most important? And how does Mario stack up against the other Nintendo series by each of these measures? I think this is actually a pretty interesting question, because while Mario is undoubtedly the most well-known Nintendo character, at this point, I don't know if Mario games are really the most important games Nintendo makes anymore. Obviously, if you take into account everything Mario is involved in, then of course he still is. But is the mainline Mario series specifically still the most important series Nintendo makes. I want to look at some of the different ways to classify how important a series is, see where Mario lands among each of these, and decide if Mario is still, on the whole, the biggest series Nintendo has. Whew, I better come up with the right conclusion here or I could be absolutely roasted in the comments. Hello all 2,255 of you, I'm Red Quan, and is Mario still the most important Nintendo series? So first, let's define what the mainline Mario series is. To me, the Mario series is the series that has the biggest Mario platformer on a given system. For example, on something like the SNES, that would have been Super Mario World, but on the Wii, it would have been the two Galaxy games, not New Super Mario Brothers. On the modern 3D systems, this really only includes the 3D Mario platformers. This is the main Mario series, and it's where Mario has always broken ground in the past. Like I said before, obviously if we count things like Mario Kart and Mario Tennis and New Super Mario Brothers, then Mario as a whole is obviously still the most important thing Nintendo has. But for the sake of this question, let's consider those to be completely different series, which I think is fair because almost all of Mario's biggest and most impactful moments have come in the mainline games. So to start, let's look at series sales. Part of how big a series is, and how important a series is, comes down to how successful its games are. And while mainline Mario games have been successful, they certainly haven't been the most successful games Nintendo's put out. Mario's been outsold by Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. on the GameCube and the Switch, by Mario Kart on the Wii U, and Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros., New Super Mario Bros., and I'm not kidding about 10 Wii games on the Wii, including Wii Fit. The Wii was a weird place. So on the past four major Nintendo consoles, which span the last 20 years or so, the mainline Mario game for the system has never been the most successful, and it's been beat out consistently by Mario Kart and usually by Super Smash Bros. too. Mainline Mario isn't Nintendo's most successful series in terms of sales, and while its entries have still done well, in this category it probably only takes third place. Again, I'm not saying on the whole that Mario isn't Nintendo's most important property, just that the mainline Mario series might not be the most important series. I, I hope you guys see the difference, because I've said it like three times now. So if Mario isn't the biggest series in terms of sales, which at this point is probably expected, is it the highest quality? Mario has always been an incredibly well-made series, and part of why the games are so famous is because they're always among the best that Nintendo puts out. But are they THE highest quality games Nintendo puts out? Is Mario still the pinnacle of Nintendo's game-making ability? Or are there other series that beat Mario here now too? Obviously this is a little subjective, but we can look at this in a couple of ways to get a good idea. First, we can look at critical acclaim, and second, we can look at fan response. What do the critics think, and how excited do the fans get about playing these games? Let's look at the critics first, because you can't get mad at me for telling you what other people said. You'll have to wait to get mad at the next part. So critically, Mario is right up there with the best Nintendo series. And you could make the case that it's the most consistent. But I think overall, it's actually second to mainline Zelda games in terms of critical acclaim. Ocarina of Time was probably reviewed a little better than Mario 64, and Majora's Mask reviewed very well too. Wind Waker was more acclaimed than Mario Sunshine, and Breath of the Wild was a little better received than Mario Odyssey. And the Wii U, like, conglomeration of Zelda stuff was probably overall better received than 3D World was. I would say the Mario Galaxies were received better than Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, but both of those were still reviewed incredibly well by critics, and I think taking everything into account, Zelda is probably more acclaimed as a series. Series like Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart, which were above Mario in sales, are still very well received, although they're definitely both lower than Mario here. What about in terms of fan response? Honestly, I don't know if Mario wins here either. Obviously, Mario games are pretty well loved by fans, and people are always excited to see when the next Mario game comes out, but I think that series like Super Smash Bros. and Zelda are still probably more well loved. Maybe they're not as well loved by quite as large a group, but the Nintendo games I end up hearing people talk about the most are probably Super Smash Bros., then Zelda, then Mario. I think Super Smash Bros. gets more love and is more heavily anticipated than Mario is, and while an upcoming Mario game is exciting, I think in general Zelda games are anticipated more, and they definitely leave people talking about them longer than Mario games do. Again, Mario is right near the top, but I don't think it's the single best received series, either by critics or by fans. Okay, okay, Mario, you still got this. I believe in you, kid. 
you failed the series, you, uh, you failed the, 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 you failed the sales, not the series, that doesn't make any sense. You, you failed the, the response, the, the acclaim, you, you got this, man. Probably. So it all comes down to my final measure of importance for a series. Influence. Mario always used to be a series that tried new things and pushed video games forward. Mario was incredibly important in bringing people back to video games with the NES, and it was a pioneering series for 3D games. Mario games have always tried new things and tried to make progress for video games. If we look back through its history, Mario has certainly been Nintendo's most innovative and influential series of games, and I think that's the biggest reason it's been so important for Nintendo. But is it still Nintendo's best series at that? And the answer is... probably. I mean, I still don't think there have been any series that have been as consistently and successfully innovative as Mario has, even in recent years. The only one that comes close is Zelda, and a lot of people said up until Breath of the Wild that Zelda was a little too similar from entry to entry. And sometimes the changes Zelda made, like the motion controls in Skyward Sword, didn't actually go over that well. Mario Galaxy was still a huge deal and something very different and unique in terms of physics, and Mario Odyssey was pretty unique and new too. The only thing is that if you look at the past two console generations, the Wii U and the Switch, I think Mario has been, on the whole, less innovative and influential than Zelda has, just because 3D World and Odyssey didn't have quite as different of a feel. They still tried some new things, but they weren't pushing video games in new directions quite as much as they were before. I think Mario probably still wins here, but it's at least a competition now. So where does that leave us? Is Mario still the overall most important Nintendo series? Given that this question relies on so many categories, it's a little hard to say definitively, and based on how important we measure each category to be, Zelda and Super Smash Bros. could make a case. But I think overall, it probably still goes to Mario. Mario only won one category, but it was right there in the running for all of them, and that's something only it can say. I think it's definitely a lot clear cut than it used to be though, and I can't say whether it'll stay that way in the future. But for now, I do think Mario is still Nintendo's most important series. Well, besides ARMS of course, but that goes without saying. Well, I'm Red Quan. Do you think Mario is still Nintendo's most important series? Is this still obvious enough that it's weird to make a video on it? I have a really hard time gauging what people are going to think about these. What's your favorite Nintendo series? That, that doesn't have to do with the topic at all, but I, I'm trying to sound like I care. Anyways, I'm Red Quan. thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. Goodbye.